No more delays. God is speaking that this is a year of swiftness, which means there are going to be no delays. Some of you have found delay after delay. Maybe it's your fault. Maybe it's not. There's going to be no more delay. There's going to be a swift move of the Spirit. There's a rise within the church of Leviathan, Python, and Jezebel, and the hold are on many religious leaders. What is God saying now? And let us realize that the spirit of Pythos and the spirit of Jezebel have now sought each other so they could coexist and they could become multiple powers. What does that mean for us? It means control, control, control. What happens first? They kill the prophets and suffocate a move of God. Control is not always bad, but it's getting worse. This is dangerous when these souls try and coexist, when there is evil and bad in the human soul, because the mischief doubles. The mischief multiplies as they coexist. Jezebel worshipped Baal and surrounded herself with false prophets. She wanted Baal to have equal rights with Yahweh, the God of Israel. The God of the United States is Jesus Christ. No other is Lord. Jezebel's stance brought her into conflict with the prophet Elijah. The reason that God is raising up prophets all over the world is because this spirit is so prevalent. This spirit is endeavoring to raise the names of religions and gods and make them equal with Christ. Then it will get worse. Now we come to the real issue. A battle between Yahweh and Baal is about to take place in the United States of America. Jezebel false prophets, and python spirits. I want you to know that his force is bringing a conflict with the prophets because it has decided that it will dwell in the United States of America. The spirit of Elijah that is coming upon the earth like we have never seen before. A sound like we have never heard before. I have never heard. I hope to live to see it. But there is something beyond this veil, a way that we could never imagine. I pray. Lord, that each warrior would receive just a glimpse of this future, that you would reign upon land, upon land, upon land, upon schools, colleges. Let the church emerge that we know about that is in existence. Now, you pray for Israel, for you see, warriors of God, it's not just Israel they want. They want you, America. We stand as watchmen on the wall and declare, so far and no more. I can change leaders. I can turn men from darkness to light. I can change their minds, and I shall, says the Lord. Watch how I shine upon this nation and in the presence of your enemies. Do not give up. God is with you. Israel, and God is with you. America, and everyone in this place, and everyone all over the world, I want you to understand that these things may look to you like, My God, everything is coming to an end. What is God saying? What is God saying to us? Why are we so weak? Why are we so weak that we can fall to pieces when bad things happen? And I won't stop saying this. The greatest is yet to come. That which has never happened before, listen to me, is about to happen. A lot of you are responding out of fear. Attention to the churches that prey on the fears of people. I don't have fear because I have seen the other side. There may be a demon that may greet me when I get to the other side, and there may have been a storm as I went to the other side. But what happened to the demoniac? Jesus, in one hour, was able to free the man from legions of demons and change the economy of that entire city within one hour. How did he do that? Goes on to preach about the power of Jesus to change things, even as people questioned him speaking to the storm, etc. There is a storm. God has been silent for a while. He comes forth and does wonderful things for us personally, but on a national scale, it seems like he's not doing anything, and so people are crying out against the terrible crimes and sins, which we agree with. We disagree with abortion. We hate it. It's a crime. It's a sin. But just because that's happening— Does it mean that God is not able to intervene? Where is the faith? This is what Jesus said when he came out of that boat. He said, Little faith, do you not believe? In other words, he was questioning them, saying, Lord, do you not care that we are perishing? 
Maybe thousands of you or millions are saying, Do you not care what is happening in America? Do you not care what is happening in the middle of the greatest darkness covering the earth? God is about to show us, the church, breakthrough. 